Hi everybody, it's David here. Now yesterday, I told you all about how you could monitor SaaS environments using a Google Chrome plugin I created, which would inject the JavaScript agent that Elastic provides into every web page you navigate to whilst that plugin is active. Today, I just wanted to share with you another technique you can use, which is using synthetics monitoring, which is a recent thing that Elastic has released into the product. Now, let's have a little look at how we might do this. So if we navigate over to our Elastic environment here, we've got uh, our observability console. We've got synthetics monitors down here on the left-hand side. And what we want to do is create a new monitor. So we do that, click create a new monitor. We want a multi-step monitor. We can actually call this uh, Salesforce monitoring as a name. We're going to run this over in the US East and we're going to run it every 10 minutes. Now you'll see here that we actually can use a synthetics recorder to generate a little script to make this a little bit easier. Now, normally what I recommend is, is if you do record a synthetic script, you probably don't want to use it verbatim. You probably want to take that script and do a little bit of modification on it, check it into a source code repository, and then you can use our fantastic GitOps workflow technology to push that script into the synthetics environment that Elastic has on their cloud. Really, really easy to do and makes things a lot, lot easier. That way you can make tweaks to the scripts. There's advanced authentication options you can do. You'll notice here that it talks about playwrights. So yes, Elastic Synthetics is using the playwright technology, which is an open source technology under the hood. So if you go over here, you'll see that, you know, if you've got an advanced authentication scenario, which you might have in the SaaS environment you're trying to monitor, you can have a look at how to do that at the uh, at the playwright site here and that might be one of those things you want to tweak with the script after you've checked it into your github repository you know that might be a more complicated thing that requires a little bit of coding anyway over here i've also got my salesforce instance and i have actually just signed up for a free trial so this is not you know a uh, a private salesforce instance uh, but what you want to do is this is a common thing that people want to monitor. So over here, I've got the synthetics recorder that I downloaded. And I'm just going to record a very simple flow with the uh, Salesforce website. So over here, what we do is we put the Salesforce URL into the synthetics recorder and we start recording our script. So first of all, it's going to ask me to log in. Now, obviously, what I need to do here is I need to actually go and uh, find my username, which I have over here. Copy that, put that into the script. It's got a funny, funny username. And then the password is very simply Salesforce test one. So we can put that in the password box and log in. So now we're all logged into to Salesforce here, and we can start to validate parts of our Salesforce environment if we want to. But I'm going to go ahead and just stop stop recording right here. So I switch back over to Elastic Synthetics Recorder, stop that. And then when I do this export, you'll see that it's actually given me the, the script. So what I, what I would normally do, as I said, what I would recommend is you take this script, you put it into a source code repository, do any tweaking you need to do to that um, and then use our GitOps workflow feature. But for the purposes of this demo, I'm just going to copy and paste it directly into the script editor. And from there, I'm going to create this new monitor. Now you can see here, I actually created one earlier and you can also see that it is actually, it is actually mostly the last one was actually working just fine. You can see it logged in and it clicked on the calendar there, which was pretty, pretty easy to do. So there you go. So that's one way that you can monitor SaaS environments. If you are doing Salesforce, there are some tweaks in Salesforce that can make this easier. For example, you can actually give it an IP address that you want to let it in with without 
the multi-factor authentication. And if you uh, and if you want to find out what the IP address ranges are for Elastic Synthetics Monitor, you can do that in our documentation. So thanks very much for watching, folks. If you want to find out more about Elastic APM, scan one of the QR codes and go and have a look. Um, good luck with your synthetics testing on your SAS environments.